Hi everyone, let's talk about Legendre's formula for a prime in a factorial. The general setup is like this. We have a prime, let's call it P, and we have a positive integer N. So a prime P and a positive integer N. The question is how many times does P divide N factorial? So P to the K divides N factorial where k is maximal. And we want to find what k is. We want, we, we want a formula for that. So we're going to denote the answer denote the answer by k equals to nu of p of n factorial. This is called um, p adic order of, yeah the p adic order um, notation. And as a lemma, something that is well known and that we're going to be using is that the number of multiples of a positive integer t in the set 1, 2, all the way through to m is m divided by t floor function. And you can prove this using the Euclidean division method. Prove using Euclidean division, otherwise known as the division algorithm. So I'll leave that proof to you. Now, as an approximation of how many times p divides n factorial, Consider the number of multiples of p in 1, 2, all the way through to n. Because th these, are, these are all factors, or I, I shouldn't use the word factor, I should use the word um, multiplicand, multiplicands of n factorial. So that would be n divided by p floor function. But notice that the multiples multiples of p square contribute one more p. So that means we need to add the number of the multiples of p on top of this. So we get n over p floor function plus n over p squared floor function as a better approximation. And we can continue in this manner because what's true is that the multiples of p contain the multiples of p squared which contain the multiples of p cubed, and so on. So we're just going to be tacking on an extra count each time. So n over p cubed floor function, and so on. And this is equal to the sum k equals to 1 to infinity of n over p to the k uh, I guess I should use i since we used k earlier, so I'll use i over here. i factorial. And notice that all sufficiently large terms, sufficiently large index terms, are zero. Because sooner or later, p to the i is going to exceed n. So you're just going to be getting a bunch of zeros as a tail end. The next thing that I want to show you is another form of Legendre's formula. So, so far we know that nu p of n factorial is equal to the sum of i equals to 1 to infinity floor function n over p to the i. The second form states that this is equal to 
n minus s p of n, I'll define them that in just a second, divided by p minus 1, where s p of n is equal to the sum of the digits of n in base p. And this is, I just want to say that this is not a random formula that, that's just there for no reason. You can actually use this to prove something called Coomer's theorem, which is a substantial theorem in combinatorial number theory. It has to do with how many times uh, a prime divides a binomial coefficient. So that's Legendre's formula. This is the first form and this is the second form. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.